welcome back. Well, yes, welcome yes, back, so. ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Here is race 24, Senior Rotax. Mm. Full grid of 34 drivers, led by Matthew Higgins and Callum Bradshaw on row number one, Sean Butcher and Archie Walker on row two. Kai Hunter and Guy, uh, Guy Cunnington will go from row three, Lewis Gilbert and Louis Harvey, they'll go from row number four. James Lowther and Sam Gornall on row five. Jamie Perilli and Harry Barlow on row six. Jack Steadman and Magic Camara, they'll go from row seven. Caden McQueen and Massey Hinchley will go from row eight. Row number nine, David Olesner and Ryan Willis. Nicole Sutherland and Alex Moody on row ten. Daniel Armstrong and Lorenzo Cordell will go from row 11. Leon Henderson and Alexander Baker from row 12. Jack Lilly and Declan Russell are up next, followed by James Jackson and Pedro Oliveira from Brazil. Lucas Ivescavichus and Deddy, uh, Teddy Pritchard-Williams, they'll start in the top 30. Will Ellswood and Charlie Rippin will go from row 16. Row 17 is Brandon klein Nagelvoort, which means that we're missing somebody. Somebody obviously got excluded from the pre-final and excluded from the whole day. But never mind. Lights are, are not, not out. out. And we can go around again. I won't go through and try and find out who the driver is. But a quick recap of the last couple of years here in Senior Road Tax. In 2019, it was Reese Hunter and Oakley Pryor who took the wins in Senior Road Tax. 2020, his first, his second ever senior win was Kai Hunter. Uh, he beat his brother Reese. Jack Steadman was on the podium that day. That. It was second and third for those two. Uh, second and first. Yes, it was. And then in 2021, Oakley Pryor won again. Rory Hudson second and Spencer Shinner third. This year, Bradshaw won the opener at PFI. Hunter has won the last two rounds, but just three points separate them in the title fight with Guy Cunnington also in with the shout. Matthew Higgins has got the track position. If he gets round the first couple of corners in first place, he is going to be tough to beat. Lights are out. We're off and racing. No, no we're not, not off and racing. It's another formation start. Callum Bradshaw still driving hurt. Uh, bruised and battered after uh, Cart Masters and, you know, just sort of easing himself back in. He was, you know, I sort of spoke to him earlier, and you know, he said, "Yeah, you know, he's he's he's, he's pretty much better." Mm. Uh, but uh, again, you know, it, it, especially when you're around a guy as funny as me and you got hurt ribs. Oh, you know, yeah, side splitting. I am. How, how did you hurt your ribs? Huh? Laughing at my jokes. Ah. So it was. Laughed so hard, did himself a mischief. Funny Higgins. enough, my ribs are fine. I've not laughed at any of yours. No, but I save my special jokes for the people. Here we go. Higgins, Bradshaw, Butcher, Walker, Hunter, Cunnington, Gilbert, Harvey. Third time of asking. Now we're off and racing. Bradshaw does get a good start. And the pole man, Matthew Higgins, has been swapped because I think that's Sean Butcher as well. They're all cleanly through. Higgins fights back, though, to get second, coming through the S's. Incredible clean start. But now... Uh, that is Guy Cunnington up at the P2. Well, and Piggins back inside Cunnington. This is great stuff. Yeah, this is a very clean start from the rest of the field. Everyone gets through. And, uh, <laughs> Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, looking at our camera there. There we go. That's one of the Callum Hardgraves driver development drivers. Just, just trying to get a T-shirt on. Yeah. Trying to get the team branding yeah, exactly. on the live stream. So, well done. Bradshaw from Higgins, Walker, Cunnington, Hunter, Gilbert, Butcher, Gornall. Lauda and Harvey, the top 10 so far. Everyone getting right. through, and this now starting to heat up here uh, for P2. I mean, right, we're at a track where in this class, overtaking has been very difficult. Yes. You give 2020 FIA World Karting Champion Callum Bradshaw, who started his career with the Rob Dodd School of Karting, uh, you know, and raced, would have raced here a lot in his very formative years, you give him in the strawberry racing set. Oh, there goes uh, Sean Butcher exit stage left oh. and somebody else uh, exploring the uh, outer James part. Of, yes, that's uh, sorry, Miss Jackson. Mm. Uh, I am for real. <laughs> I, 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 you, you, I, I got that. You one. even <laughs> waited. I, I, I couldn't help myself. But you know, right? This is a real test of Matt Higgins's and Archie Walker's metal because Bradshaw has can now control things from the front. 
I mean, Callum Bradshaw's a tough cookie to beat. Oh, yeah. Uh, at the best of times. But you put him on a track where it's difficult to overtake on, and you give him a 20 car length lead, even though we've got 13 minutes of this race remaining, it, it, it's going to be exceptionally difficult for Higgins. And there's Kai Hunter having to defend from Sam Gornall in the number 27 Coles racing car. And, he, and Gornall has got his teammate, James Lowther, for company as well. These two drivers, the five of Higgins and 91 of Walker, they have to work together. They, they have, have to. to uh, you know, they can see things ebbing away. Uh, Kennington is fourth. The Diamond of Dal Rai, uh, Lewis Gilbert, is fifth. So Kai Hunter, this could be... I mean, oh, there's a uh, still battling. That was the ultimate R. Car of Matty Hinsley getting edged wide there. The first thing at Bradshaw, 34.22 seconds. New fastest lap. There we go. Big movers through the field. Matty Hingley's gone up four places at the start of this race. Teddy Pritchard Williams, Super Ted, seven places gained up into P23 as well. Brandon Clyde Nangelvoort, he's had a good start from the back of the grid as well. Four places so far, up to P29. I mean, Teddy Pritchard Williams, he's got to move on because he wants to find out the Villa score ah, afterwards. Yeah, that, that's yeah, what he, he says. Like, yeah, yeah. The quicker I get back, or uh, the quicker I get back, then uh, the quicker. Are you checking the football scores now? Uh, I, I, I am. How uh, dare you? Uh, well, no, only only to see what I'm trying to get a, a read on Teddy Pritchard with his mental state. Right, okay. You know, Good thinking. public service, public service, ladies is it, and gentlemen. Is it? Is it? Um, <laughs> but again, Bradshaw's lead. Well, now, now Kai Hunter sets a new fast lap. Lewis Gilbert, the number 29 of Gilbert, up into fourth position now. He passes Guy Cunnington. Oh, the at the moment it's, it's the game's going on so he wants to get the race he wants to get this 15 minute uh, right. race out of the way as quick as possible uh and then get back to the radio uh it's big big midlands derby black country derby there big big game big game um back to the racing back to the go-karting yes uh four tenths of a second is the gap last time around higgins well archie walker now fastest lap of the race 34 0 1 and okay Parity, Bradshaw, last lap, 34.03. Higgins, 34.06. Walker, 34.01. Gilbert, 34.03. So everyone doing a sterling job out there. And Walker again with the fastest lap of the race in P3, which is good signs and, and, for closing that gap. Go on, go on. Those four lap times are the same lap. Bradshaw, cream racing engines. Higgins, time racing engines. Walker, KR Sport engines. Gilbert, Potenza racing engines. There we go. Superb. There we go. Four different engine manufacturers. Well, the same engine builders. Engine builders uh, in the top four. So, yellow flags out going into the S's. Uh, now, not sure what that's for. Is there potentially someone stopped maybe at the hand hairpin? I can't see anyone well, do that. Uh, no, I just think the camera just caught it. On the exit of the hairpin, there is a driver sat in their go-kart at the side of the circuit. Ah. Uh, and it was Brandon Klein Nagelvoort. Oh, dear. So Brandon Klein and Charlie Rippin have both gone out of the race. We're down to 31 runners at the moment. Into second half of Billy's. We've got to the end of this race to get your guesses in as to why Billy's Blind is called Billy's Blind. Who or what is it named after? I did lots of trivia questions at Scar Masters over the three days. Yeah. And I think the audience guessed nearly all of them. Mm. Um, but no one's come close to this yet. It's a tricky one. Tis. But uh, there we go. Nine minutes to go then. Uh, that gap between Bradshaw and Higgins, it's, uh, it's, it's it, I'd say it's closing, but it's not closing at a rate. Nope, and Lewis Gilbert, though in fourth place, is now the new fastest driver on ah. circuit, and he's got under the 34-second barrier. 33.99. Wow. That is a quick lap. Out of the horseshoe, there is uh, the number 24 cart of, uh, the zip cart of Caden McQueen. And uh, he is, again, he qualified only 38th, uh, and he's up to 15th at the moment. That's where he started. So we know we said a 33.99 was a quick lap. Yes. That there, that's just popped up on your screen, ah, I think. That there, on our screen there. Yeah, yeah. That, that, that's a 33.98. Yes. That's a quicker lap. That's a quicker lap. And uh, there that's is a move. That, uh, oh, one, there's two Project One carts there trying to battle past 
Caden McQueen. That is Jack Stedman in the 62. And what, talk, what you're talking about, Ryan Willis uh, in the number 42. So down towards Lily's blind once again. Now we're looking at that because um, now the rear bumper of Caden McQueen's car, the bumper look maybe a slight angle, but it certainly still looks all attached and in place. Yeah, um, I and off with that one. No, and, 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 and again, one of the Project One carts they're having a very good day. Ah, a response. A response, yes. <laughs> I take your 33.98. And, I, and I, I raise you a 33.90. Take that, sir. All right. That's, uh, so that's, it's Scottish, it's yeah, Gilbert, yeah. yeah. You know, uh, but the gaps are, I mean, Gilbert, there was two seconds off the lead. Bradshaw leads by a qu three quarters of a second. Here's McQueen again, and again. Yeah, that rear bumper, it looks bowed in a little bit, but certainly all attached and in one piece. Yeah. But at, at definitely, at, it was at a funny angle. <laughs> <laughs> Tyrone, when things are behind you, they appear at an angle. <laughs> <laughs> you ask me, see what happens. Uh, right, okay. Bradshaw, Higgins, Walker. No change to front. Callum Bradshaw pulling away. There is the number two in the three car. And here is the battle. Uh, Lauda, Cunnington, Gorn and Hamera. Mm. So Magic Hamera potentially on course for what would be his first top ten of the year. Uh, looking at the, you know, at the moment, Bradshaw in the number 25 cart, uh, a win at PF International, then two third places. Hard to believe that Callum Bradshaw's only won two rounds of the British Championship. Well, the first round of 2020, your very first commentary mm. with me uh, yeah. at Rowra, yeah. and he won Senior X30 that day. You were but that a horrendous pink belt that weekend. It was a blue belt. Is it blue? And I've still got it. Oh, dear. Yes. I thought I burnt it. No, no, no. Bright blue. <sighs> yes. Um, Unfortunately, at the moment, I don't, I, I, I don't need to wear it anymore. I want to get back to a position where I actually need to wear that horrific blue belt. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but there, so there's Lauda on your screens, followed by Cunnington, Gore, and Mera. Um, we were going through some of the other uh, top tens this year. Uh, well, Bradshaw, yeah, Higgins, oh, it's been a feast or famine. Uh, Matthew Higgins had a retirement at PFI. And I think a retirement at, and a retirement at Warden Law, but he's dubbed, he's, he sandwiched that with a second place finish at Lark Hall. He's seventh in the in the championship at the moment. He hasn't won a final since 2020 when he won the Junior Rotax title. Mm. So he, he he has got uh, two uh, wins to his name, uh, four second place finishes and two third place finishes in his uh, British Championship career. Five minutes to go. James Lowther, driver number seven, um, a, pair, well, a trio of third places in his career. Uh, oh, and that was the 52, I think, was going slowly at the side of the track. Guy Cunnington, the, the former GP player holder, 2019 British champion. Well, there's Archie Walker. Let's look back. We'll see. Uh, David Aulejna has retired the number 65 strawberry racing cart. Now, Guy Cunnington, who was third in the championship, and he was still right in contention. And you are correct, Anthony. Guy Cunnington out of the race. And that is going to put a severe dent in his title ambitions. Here's the battle of the second place, and it is shaping up to be a battle now. Bradshaw is 1.3 seconds up the road. And it's now the five of Higgins, the 91 of Walker, and 29 of Lewis Gilbert fighting over the final two podium positions. Hunter is fifth, Butcher is sixth, and it's Lauda, Hamera, Gornal, and Louis Harvey in the top ten. Jamie Perilli, we spoke earlier, very quietly going about his business and picking up positions. Then it is Hingley. Followed by Barlow, Stedman, Willis, Armstrong, McQueen, Teddy Pritchard Williams from 30th to 18th, and Nicole Sutherland still hanging on to, I think, what would be her first top 20 finish of the season. Let's see. Go on. You were thinking, we, yeah, we, he had we, a finger we, up as soon as I started talking. Uh, oh, yes, because I've just sussed out who got excluded. Ah. Australia. Close your ears. Oh, no. It was Gabe. Uh, Gabe Balanka. 
made it to the A final and has not come out for the final. He's not appeared at the grid, which means he was excluded. So. Well, maybe not. Well, maybe so. Well, it could have been a breakdown. No, he didn't appear on the grid, as in on our grid oh. sheet. So, Mr. Rogers, Ian Rogers from motorsport timing.co.uk, uh, if, if, if Gabe was still in the race meeting, he would have appeared on our grid sheet, and he did not. So, uh, sadly, I mean, to, sadly, Mr. Belanca, uh, not in it. And you're checking your mobile telephonic device to look at the results to see what was the issue. But here's the battle for second place. Still, Higgins in the five for Dan Holland Racing, Walker in the three, uh, in the 91 for KR Sport, and Gilbert in the number 29 for Potenza Racing Engines. Bradshaw has, Bradshaw just with that great start, he won this race at the first corner. I said, ah, Gabe Belanca intentionally reattaching the front fairing after the checkered flag disqualified from the meeting yeah yep that'll do it that that'll do it uh i tell you what else will do it uh Caleb Bradshaw looking over his shoulder now one of the funniest moments that i've ever seen oh, <laughs> i know exactly Masters, where you're going with it when when Callum bradshaw started the senior rotax final from last of the grid yeah and caught race leader kai hunter as they started the last lap and as they started the last lap kai hunter looked over his shoulder and bradshaw just waved at him to say hello remember me if bradshaw has the presence of mind to turn around at the end of this race and wave to everybody behind him then that would be comedy genius I've got a feeling he's going to be celebrating instead, but, you know, because it's been a te textbook drive Shall I ask for him? Callum Bradshaw. Ask him why didn't he wave? Right. Yes, please. Provided that nothing goes wrong and, and he does win this motor race, then, uh, yeah, you must ask him, why did you turn around and wave to everybody like you did at Cartmasters? You know, uh, professional media question at the end of the race. <laughs> Why did he turn around and wave at everyone? No, nothing about, you know, how good was the engine, how good was the chassis, you know, how good was the driving? No. <laughs> Appease your co-commentator's childish <laughs> sense of humour. Exactly, I'll do that for you. 45 seconds to go, Anthony. Yeah. And the question is, are we going to see a move for second, third or fourth? Um, I, th I think we are. I think we are going to see it. And I think From it's going to come Lewis Gilbert. Okay. I think it's going to be Lewis Gilbert on Archibald. Only because on the last lap, fastest lap of the race, once again, he's got the momentum. Uh, and because Archie Walker, his first year as a senior, hasn't finished higher than eighth in the British Championship. This is this a year. He's in a... He's had a brilliant weekend, has Archie Walker. He's been absolutely fantastic. And I would love to see him get a podium in this one. I really, really would. And uh, he, he could, and it can still definitely happen because he's he's got the weft. And actually, I have to say, he's closing in on Matthew Higgins uh, as well. Yeah, exactly. But I mean, Higgins has been absolutely metronomic. Um, he'll be ruining that start. But again, it could have been worse. He had to go. He had to like dive back past Guy Cunnington, uh, going through the S's on that one to regain second spot. But from then that point on, again, you don't give uh, a world champion Callum Bradshaw, who is now 2.6 seconds up the road. Uh, 2.6 seconds up the road. I mean, uh, even if Callum Bradshaw does wave, it won't make a difference because he can't see the drivers anyway. Mm. So it's a, it's a moot point, I have to say. But uh, what a drive. And again, we'll talk about, has this race been the most exciting with lots of overtakes? No. Has that detracted from the driving? No, because this is uh, Bradshaw, inch perfect for now 27 laps. These three drivers on your screen now, likewise, none of them have made a mistake. None of them have put a wheel wrong. Because, oh, is he having a oh, wave there? It's, it's I think he, I, no, no, that's correct. Even Chris Walker didn't know. Ah, what happened there? I didn't have final lap up on... Neither did I. No. So, ev ev everyone, everyone's been ev slightly confuddled as the. But anyway, the, the go kart race is over, and Callum Bradshaw has won. Did you see the last lap go out? Is it, or is, is it me being absolutely uh, I did, uh, I didn't. stupid? No, I didn't. 
Anyway, the go-kart race is over, ladies and gentlemen. The most confus confusing race ends to a round of the British Championship. But anyway, uh, Chris Walker didn't have it there. But uh, yeah, Callum Bradshaw, you give Chris Walker a wave. Matthew Higgins second, Archie Walker in third, Lewis Gilbert fourth, and Kai Hunter in fifth. And with that, Callum Bradshaw is your new championship leader. Further down the order, uh, Sean Butcher, Magic Kamara, James Lowther, Sam Gornall, Jamie Perilli takes a top 10 spot, and that is what Jamie is getting known for, as it will help move him towards a national ranking for 2023. Then you've got Louis Harvey in 11th, Matty Hingley in 12th, Harry Barlow 13th, Jack Stedman 14th, and Ryan Willis completes the top 15. Daniel Armstrong, Teddy Pritchard Williams, Will Ellsworth, Caden McQueen, and Nicole Sutherland gets a top 20 finish. Congratulations to Nicole and her mechanic, Jess. And that's a career best result in senior Rotax for Nicole with Alex Moody, Alex Baker, James Jackson, Lorenzo Cordal and Leon Henderson. The rest of the top 15, uh, 25 rather. Uh, Declan Russell, Lucas Iveskevichus, Jack Liddy and Pedro Oliveira from Brazil. As you can see, the clouds over the clay pigeon circuit. Now, no chance of rain there, unfortunately, is Lewis Malin uh, making his second appearance on the live stream this afternoon. Both appearances have been while he's wheeling his trolley down towards the bottom end of the circuit where his driver, Charlie Rippin, has left his cart. Uh, Guy Cunnington, uh, still third in the championship with 673 points, but now 50 points behind Bradshaw, who leads Kai Hunter by four points with three rounds to go and uh, there is a glance that the pack down here in the paddock beginning you can see the awnings beginning to come down the um yeah, the awnings coming down there Stephen Letts uh, working away in the KR Sport awning uh, former driver former kart masters champion uh, just getting his tools away and we pan out a little bit to see. Bottom left there, you can just see Ian Rogers, motorsport timing. That's where all the timing comes from here at Clay Pigeon. And there is Ian. And uh, away there. So look at all those wires there. He makes the magic happen no matter what facilities he is given. But Anthony Jordan is with Callum Bradshaw in the pits. Thank you very much, Henry. Yes, here with our race winner, Callum Bradshaw. Callum, well, firstly, what did you have for lunch? Because at Clay Pigeon, such a short lap, and you won that race by over two seconds. Yes, uh, I, I, f I felt comfortable all weekend, to be honest. Um, but I missed the lap in qualifying, which which sort of put me off. And then I had to start fifth on my heats. And around this track, it's, it's, it's impossible to follow, genuinely, is unless you've got a, a significant pace advantage you, you just can't overtake um, so I was coming through my heats and um, and then yeah I was obviously off second in the final and and I went across the line and sort of got a good nudge from from Archer got a really good start and it goes left anyway which I've I'm fortunate and I got the lead and and yeah obviously the clear air makes makes a big difference because I felt really strong in the heats but you just can't get there you get to that six temps gap and then you go so yeah I got out front and, and yeah showed my speed so yeah just with that clear air and yeah it, you, you had it all in hand so um, I mean clay pigeon it's probably one of the tougher circuits here because it's so kind of technical short lap and everything like that you know we've only got a couple of rounds left in the championship uh, how are we feeling for the rest of the season yeah, you just take it race by race, don't you? Um, we're in a good spot now. We've got good momentum back on our side. And, uh, yeah, we go from here. Um, another question. This is more a question from Henry. PFI, Kart Masters, final. Kai Hunter in front, you waved. Why didn't you turn around and wave to the back of the grid? Because that would have been comedy gold. <laughs> well, I wish I'd have thought with that at the moment, I guess. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, no, it was, just, it was a bit of banter. And... Um, and yeah, I guess he didn't expect me because he, he had a look and then looked again. I was like, I'm here. So uh, yeah, I'm back. No, it was brilliant. Who would you like to thank? Just the whole team, Strawberry. Um, the guys have done a tremendous job um, to give me this package. Like you said, to win around this sh such a short track by such a, a margin is, is, is impressive. So um, yeah, just everybody at Strawberry, Tony Cart Factory, um, Tillet. Um, yeah, and everybody. No, brilliant stuff. Callum Bradshaw, congratulations. Yeah, thank you. Excellent. Let's chat to second place wherever he has gone. Archie, if I can't, come on, come on over. Wait, you're second? He's Matt's second. Sorry.
I tell you what, Matt, you were second. He came third, but he parked in the second place. Anyway, Matt, well done. Cheers. What race that was. I mean, a clay pigeon, tough old track, but uh, the team's done a fabulous job this weekend, so have yourself, but it's been, has it been a tough one for you? Yeah, of course. I mean, we were mega through the heat, so um, obviously being pushed the whole way through, but tried some of the tyres for the final, it just didn't quite work, so we were struggling from the start. But yeah, head down, two wins in a second on points, so yeah, got to be happy. Yeah, I mean, uh, Clay Pigeon, again, fabulous circuit for you. Um, not not your local track, but, uh, you know, it's still, is it one up there for you? Yeah, well, nowhere's local for us, but yeah, it's all right. It's a good track. Well, I think, uh, what track would be local for you? I think, where, where is it, Trevor Royce? Yeah, GYG is an hour away, but we never race there, so. What about Landau? That's like four hours away. Really? Yeah. Oh, I don't know where Traffic Royce is, clearly. <laughs> but uh, no, well, brilliant stuff. Who would you like to thank? Uh, just all the team, Time Racing Engines, Dad on the Spanners, all my sponsors, too many to thank, but uh, and all my family and friends and whatever supporting. So, yeah, big thanks to them. Brilliant stuff. Well done, Matthew Higgins. Cheers. Excellent. Now let's chat to third place. Archie, sorry, Archie. There you go. I was just giving you an extra position. That's all. I was, I was, I was yeah. g you up a little bit. But uh, again, brilliant race that was. Dad's got a nice smile on his face over there. Yeah, it was a it was a long one. Yeah. Uh, it feels really long around here. Obviously, short lap, but the team did a great job. You know, allowing us to get a podium. You know, maybe should have had a bit more if we had a better free final. It's just hard hard to overtake when you're behind someone here. Uh, you pretty nailed it on the head there. You're exhausted because it was a long race, but it's a short lap. That's only because there are so many more laps than what you would do at a normal circuit. So that's one of those um, downsides, really, to clay pigeon. But, you know, the sun's been out compared to what we had last year with all the rain. This year, a little bit nicer. Yeah, last year was abysmal, wasn't it? <laughs> it was pretty terrible. Yeah. Oh, I had a terrible weekend, but better, better this time. Redemption, maybe. But, you know, looking forward to the rest of the championship, see what we can do, maybe salvage something out of it. Who would you like to thank? Uh, just everyone at Chaos Sport, Ash, Louis, Tom, uh, and just my mum and dad for just getting me here every weekend, and dad on the tools. Yeah, there we go. Dad, dad looking very happy there. Look at him, one-handed, carrying an engine there. Look at that, it's a man's man there, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, but Archie Walker, congratulations, P3. Thank you very much. Excellent stuff. One more race to go. It's Junior Rotax. Back to you, Henry. Thank you, Anthony. Breaking out his Welsh geographical knowledge there. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we move on to the podium presentation for Senior Rotax. And finishing in third place for the KR Sport team, it's Archie Walker. Archie, the only driver whose who's dad flexed his muscles for everybody on the live stream, holding an engine with one hand. Well done, Archie. Finishing in second position for the Dan Holland Racing Team, it's Matthew Higgins. Your race winner, he led from start to finish. Unfortunately, his mechanic, Bruce Lee Taylor, has departed, so we'll bring someone else up. But your winner today for Strawberry Racing, it's Callum Bradshaw and Paul Spencer. Do you need a higher plinth, Paul, to put you on the same level? Sorry. <laughs> Thank you very much, sir. Thank you very much. So, Callum Bradshaw now moves into the championship lead, but only by, I think, four points. So, a lot still to play for. Oh, one more for, one more for Mr. Walker. Thank you very much. Your senior Rotax podium, everybody. Well done. Well done, Paul. Great, great work on the final. Great work. Yeah.